Good morning, everybody. We have had a lot of controversy about sanitaries. So today I'm going to show you a sanitary trim on a dog that is sanitary sensitive. We set our clippers on a 10 blade. And if you look under here at the sanitary, how hairy all of this is, it's real important that I clear this out. It gets matted. The vulva area tends to get a lot of urine. So I am skimming. I'm skimming this to try and get it clean. I work my way into the vulva area. You can see on this one, there's actually matting in there. So I have to get close in order to get the matting off and to keep that vulva area clean. I do it from this side and then I go to the other side and do it from the other side. So we work our way around the dog. By the way, this is Tushi. Tushi's a little older dog, but she's been with us for a long time. And here we go, working to the other side, working with the way the hair grows, skimming it out. In some areas, I do have to get a little bit close in order to get the hair out of there. But the way that we finish off is sanitary, if I'm at all concerned, which I am right now, that there could be a possibility of any kind of razor burn, is I baby powder it, which seems to soothe it. If I see any red irritation under here, by the time I'm done with my grooming, I will actually add a little cortisone cream to that, which is something that you can do at home too, if you ever feel concerned that the sanitary area is too okay, close okay. or has a razor burn. But it's something that we have to do um, to keep that hair down under here in order to make our haircuts yeah, look clean tomorrow. and to keep them clean in your sanitary areas.